Andrew, you have four different registrations. You have five tickets. They go back to 2004, 2005, and 2006. Can you prosecute those tickets? No, Your Honor, not from 04, 05. Um, we won't even have copies of those, Your Honor. Those matters are going to be dismissed. I wasn't aware of them. Anyway, I'm sorry. Well, I mean, Thank you. The issue isn't whether you are aware of them. The issue is whether or not they were placed on the vehicle, and they were. At the time, you were living on 9th Street in Woonsocket. We're keeping track of you. <laughs> then you got a ticket on Friendship Street in 2008. That was a parking meter on Friendship Street. That's going to cost you $25. Then you have a parking meter in 2014 on Friendship Street. It's going to cost you $25. So far, you're doing pretty good because all you got is $50. And now you have four parking tickets. Are you talking about the most recent ones? Most now? recent ones, right. All right. The one on, on, the, on the Nissan. Yeah, the one on 11 one, I went to Social Security because they had cut my check. Because my son was recently killed last year. So they cut my check because Who? he had old money. Who? My son was oh. killed. Watch of last year, right? So I was his rep payee. So they took my money because he had old money. So I had to go to Social Security to fix that matter. When I came out, my, I had a ticket. Then another time on the 5th, the parking meter wasn't working. I have the picture for that. On 1-4, I was at court because my uh, landlord was trying to evict me. I was at eviction court. Come out, I got a ticket. Mind you, he won possession of the apartment, so I had to move. So I got a ticket, he won possession of the apartment. Then I get another one because I tried to go to the legal services to try to get help to fix this. I go get some change out of Dunkin' Donuts, come out, I got a $100 ticket. What was the... <clears throat> What was the situation with the mix-up in Social Security with your son? My son was killed last year, March of last year. They said that he owed $75 of overpayment from May of 2016. Mind you, he was already deceased at that time. So what they did was they stopped my whole check until I went in there to fix the problem. So when I came out, I had a pocket to clean. I've had a tough year already. I, I really, I'm on SSDI. I don't, I don't have four hundred dollars to give you on top of whatever else. I really don't. I just had to come up with money for a new apartment. I'm still paying Russell with boy for my son's funeral. I'm like, I, I don't know where this money's supposed to come from. I wish I would have got my brother that night and he wouldn't have killed my son. That's why my son's good. I'm just really having a tough time here. I think we can all express our sympathy to you and understand the trauma that you have experienced. I'm still going back and forth to court for that. There's still emotions and I'm going to take all of the uh, circumstances that you just have explained to me into consideration <clears throat> and see if I can balance the equities to protect the interests of the city and take into consideration, you know, the horrific story that you just told us relative to your son. I don't think anyone in their lifetime would ever want to experience that. So. It's the worst feeling in the world. I feel so empty. I'm going to reduce this to uh, $50. How much time do you need to pay it? I have it on me now. That's not going to leave without any money, is it? I'll leave it with $5. Thank you, Your Honor. 
I'm not going to leave you with five dollars. I'm not going to leave you. I'm going to, I'm going to dismiss everything. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> with our best wishes and hope that things turn around good for you. Okay. Good, good luck to you.